Now, from the University of Okaboji, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff Thee. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. I'm Jeff Thee. I'm at the Dickinson County Courthouse. I'm talking to Kathy Hansen, who's with the CARES, C-A-R-E-S. -A mm -hmm. And, Kathy, first of all, thanks, uh, thanks for joining me here today. Glad to be here. Thanks for the invite. You've got a... Uh, Carnival coming up this weekend, but uh, before we get to all the details on that, let's talk about what CARES is and why it's so important. Well, CARES is an acronym for Community Advocates Ready to Empower Survivors. And we started the group maybe about five years ago okay. with the goal of um, helping our two advocacy groups that serve Dickinson County. Right as well as neighboring counties. Right. So those two advocacy groups are the, is the Family Crisis Center, which serves domestic violence and more violent crimes like homicide victims who are the survivors of that, that right. victim. And then CASA, which we all know because CASA used to do domestic, but now they only do sexual assault right. crimes. So um, the inspiration behind the CARES group was that um, these groups were losing funding, and they've lost funding. I don't think they've ever had, and if they've had an increase, it's slight, and certainly didn't make up for funding decreases in prior no, years. No, and it seems like it's been going on for so long. Yep. And as situations get worse, it seems like those funds have just... Right. I can remember going to uh, legislative forums in the 90s, and with legislators there and, and people from these groups saying, you're, you're cutting our funding. People mm -hmm. are falling through the, the floorboards here sure. and we're not able to help them. Right. And unfortunately, yeah. a lot of that continues. Right, and, and, it, and it is unfortunate, but if you think about um, our government, we, we can't expect our government to take care, take care of us all, all right. the time. So, you know, it used to be the churches <clears throat> that took care of us. Yeah. It used to be just the community that would take care of their own. Right. You know, a village raises, you know, you, whole village concept. Yep. So that's kind of what we wanted to get back to was why aren't we supporting these two advocacy agencies and so that they can continue their efforts yeah. in advocacy services. So, you know, that's, if every county would do that, I think that would make a substantial difference yeah. in, um, and you in say keeping this, their services. And, you know, CARES got going here about five years ago, never dreaming at that time there'd be a pandemic in a couple of years. Right. And it just seems like the needs of people exponentially exploded. It certainly and, didn't help. You know, whether it was the, the stress, the, uh, the confinement, uh, or addictions, whatever it may be, it just mm -hmm. seemed to exponentially um, make things that there was a lot more need out there than previous. Yep. Yeah. And it made it harder to get services, and services, it was hard to get the services to people. Yes. But, but you know, we're all bouncing back, so cares you know we had to take a two-year hiatus yeah. so um, this will be only our fourth time to do it but it's a, a great carnival a great way to bring about um, awareness regarding sexual abuse domestic violence yeah. and uh, it's a, also a great way of raising funds for these two groups because yeah. uh, cares gets zero money coming back to us we're just a right. group of five or six people that just want to make sure we do this activity, but um, all the funds are split equally between each agency. Okay, <clears throat> very good. Because they are the two that serve our area. So, what do we have to look forward to this weekend? What are we doing, Kathy? Oh, wow. So, this carnival is magnanimous. I mean, it's just, it's beyond overkill. Um, <laughs> so, everything is free. You walk in the door and you literally don't have to spend one penny. Okay. So we're hoping a lot of families come out and just enjoy the activity. Yeah. And hopefully along the way, if you're compelled and feel like you would like to donate, you may donate. Right. So, but certainly no pressure to do so. Right. Um, the only thing that you can purchase at the carnival is if you want to have lunch, um, it's just five dollars, okay. and you get either a walking taco or a made right, All right with some chips, a cookie, and a drink. Yeah. So, um, so 
the other thing that you could purchase is raffle tickets. This year we're going to try a raffle versus a silent auction. Okay. And we have some great packages st starting out. You know, we had uh, Baumgart's lowered the price on a kid's kayak. Oh my. We've got a life vest. Um, I was fortunate to work with the Fisherman Factory Outlet. They guided me through all these two great fishing poles, got the kids all set up with their own fishing gear oh. and lures and it's just an awesome. So I have two different fishing poles for a little older kid and a little younger kid. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I shouldn't say I, our group did. Right, right. Um, uh, you know, Arnold's Park and uh, Boji Bay, we're doing a family package so you can take your kids to Arnold's Park and Boji Bay for free. The YMCA is giving us, uh, gave us five um, family passes for yeah. the day, which is awesome. Oh my goodness, yes. Uh, Walmart was gracious and uh, gave us a child's bike. Oh. So we're just going to put together some packages for different things like that. And yeah. This certainly plays into when we were talking about small towns, how they used to take care of their own. Here's a good sign of that, oh, you know. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, in the summertime we're a, we're more of a metropolitan area in the on the weekends, but by and large we're right. a series of small communities. And and how businesses, individuals step up when they see there's a need. Oh, absolutely. Uh, they they give of themselves, their product, their services, whatever it is, and yep. that, that's what makes a small community magical. Yep. And you know we have Crafties, which is a, a meat uh, store over on 86, yeah. uh, graciously gave us um, three $25 gift certificates for meat. Oh. And of course, Indian Hills and Emerald Hills were at their golf. Yeah. Um, so like I said, we're gonna put them in packages, so there'll be a lot in one package, okay. value probably between 100 to 200, depending where we place everything. Right. Um, and I hope I'm not leaving people out, but you know, hy V was gracious and donated beverages and some cookies and Fairway kind of made up some difference with uh, some meat and food that we need as well as the roof and meat locker gave us all this hamburger. Oh my goodness. Um, so they all step up. Yeah. Uh, the, so we just had so many. I mean, I know I'm leaving out some folks, yeah. but well, find out what, the what, generosity. what else there is by being there this weekend. You know, yeah. yeah. The uh, generosity. I know we're getting a life vest from, I'm not for sure of the group. I think it's Mal, okay. but we're, you know, so the life vest for the kid, for the kayak. Yeah. You know, I mean, we're trying to make sure everyone stays safe. Well, sure, but I mean, it's it's pretty awesome. So, and all these are going to be raffle items as opposed yep. to a silent auction. Then you said, yeah. yeah. So, where are we at this weekend? What time and yeah. uh, and so forth? The carnival starts at eleven at the Expo Center in Spirit Lake behind High V. There's yeah. the Expo Center, and that's uh, they have such a great facility there. And uh, yeah, we're going to have, so at the carnival, so 11 to 3, okay. uh, we pull raffles at 2.30, but you don't have to be present to win. Okay. Um, so when you come in the door, um, these kids are going to get this little package of stuff. And then um, there's face painting. There's um, three bouncy castles. Okay. There's two activity games, one's basketball, one's hockey, which we're gr grateful for our local youth hockey groups going to come in with that, and they're going to help man that, help kids uh, hit a puck into the net. Um, we have Baca coming, and uh, there's Bikers Against Child Abuse. Yeah. Um, they're going to be there with a game for the kids to play and some uh, rub-on water tattoos. Sure. Um, we're going to have some games for the kids to play, just uh, little games. Our key club at the high school has graciously, uh, the kids, the teenagers there are going to come and assist with some of that. Yeah. Um, I know I'm leaving out some fantastic, oh, we have the puppets coming, oh, a puppet show coming from a church in um, Esterville. And we have clowns coming from Esterville oh. who want to volunteer their time to be around, handing out. We all hope these cotton. volunteers, I tell you, yeah. God bless them. That's and just all wonderful. volunteers. We this is all based. There's no one being paid to come right. and do this do this work. And so, yeah, we're going to have free cotton candy for the kids, free popcorn for the kids. Our sex abuse response team is going to be there. Dickinson County, Emmett, Clay. They we've all 
had these groups that right. are prepared now to respond to sex abuse. Yeah. So we're going to have a booth there for them, and they're going to ha be handing out the popcorn, but also any questions people have about how we respond to sexual abuse in our county. Yeah. Um, of course, FCC and CASA will be there with their booths, ready yeah. to answer questions and uh, things like that to help give them some exposure. Yeah. Well, and the exposure is important. There may be people that know something or they're aware of something, they question something, yep. they, they can ask questions. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And action can be taken. So. Yeah. Well, it's going to be a, a wonderful family-friendly event. It gets going at 9 at the Expo on Saturday? At 11. At 11. <clears throat> yep. Well, they can show up at 9 and stand outside. <laughs> well, I tell you, you know, we are, like I said, we're only a committee, five, six people. Yeah. We cannot build this carnival or take it down or produce everything that we're doing yeah. without people just coming and helping. Right. So um, Friday night from 6 to 8, if there's anybody that just wants to come, for that be a half an hour or yeah. both hours, yeah. um, just come and help us set up tables, set up our banners, set up, help decorate, yeah. maybe help make the cotton candy. Um, we always need that help. And then at 9 o'clock in the morning, if you want to volunteer to continue that process, we'll be there from 9 to 11. So we would enjoy anybody that just wants just to stop in, in. And it's a great way to contribute. Maybe, you know, they always say there's three ways to, uh, to help, in the, you know, time, uh, talent, and treasure. Mm -hmm. And some of us have more treasure to give. Some of us have more time to give. But it all comes together, yep. and it helps these families in need. Yep. And then, oh, the other time to volunteer would be at 3 o'clock okay. because that does, all that stuff doesn't magically get taken down. <laughs> That's right. And five people can't do that without spending hours and hours That's and right. hours. So what goes up must come down, yeah. More, more hands in the mix will really make a lighter load for everyone. So, yeah, we need help with that. Oh, I need to put a plug in for Kelly McKeever. Okay. He's going to come and help us with the audio and play music. Nice. For the event. So, yeah, I mean, every. I'm always so overwhelmed with gratitude because people understand the need for this yeah, type of a, th right. of a program and uh, the, their willingness to give up their time and energies is just, I'm always surprised who all shows up. Yeah. It's like a, it's like Christmas when yeah. everyone just starts showing up to volunteer. It's and, really neat. And they're all there to, it's, it's gifts to be opened, you know. Yeah. And I think I forgot to talk about face painting. We have face painters okay. coming. Oh, yeah, I kind of can't have a carnival without well, face no, painting. That, that, that just wouldn't be right. And, but no. they're going to be there. And so yeah. uh, families can come on in. And uh, Now, if if people can't be there Saturday, they're out of town, they got something going on, are there other ways to contribute to CARES? That, uh, Absolutely. Okay, how do they do that? So, you know, we, we have worked with CASA and FCC. CASA has said they would be responsible for receiving the money okay. and that they would split the proceeds then with the Family Crisis Center, and that's right. worked out really great. Okay. So um, all of our literature asks for if you want to give a donation under the CARES banner, right. so certainly send that on to CASA. If you feel one way or the other about sex abuse or domestic abuse, you're maybe more inclined to work with domestic violence, right. then the Family Crisis Center, you know, they're on the internet, It's yeah. e they're easy to find, um, so feel free, you know, after our event, if you still feel impassioned that you want to help these groups, yeah. they both of them have great websites and uh, make it very easy to donate to their groups. Okay. So, so but we'll CARES itself does not take in okay. donations. Okay. Very you know, good. So They don't handle the money. Right. So different ways, but the fun way to help and to contribute would be uh, this Saturday starting 11 at the Expo Center, yes. Dickens County Fairgrounds. Yep. All right, Kathy Hansen, thank you for being here with us today. Oh, well, thank you for having us. Absolutely. Our thanks to Kathy Hansen representing CARES here on Okaboji Broadcast. We thank her for being with us. We thank you for watching us right here on Okaboji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you in part by the Scott Troutman State Farm Agency in Spirit Lake. Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services. Advisor Jan Spielman, AJ Spielman, and Erica Wachholz. The headquarters of the University of Okaboji is at the Three Suns, open Monday through Saturday 10 to 5 and Sunday from 10 to 4. Bank Midwest, dream big, plan wisely, live well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Ruth Van Locker at the Lake, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake. 
Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake, V Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okoboji Plaza in Okoboji, 